Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here that's actually from the Soviet Union textbook. So let's see if we can solve this problem here involving fractions. So what is this problem? Here we have a bunch of fractions that are being added together. So 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 plus 1 over 42 plus 1 over 56 plus 1 over 72 plus 1 over 90. And we need to solve this, okay? So obviously when you solve fractions, you can find a common denominator, but here we have a lot of different values and I'm not going to do that. That seems too difficult for me. So what we're going to do is use a different strategy, okay? So what does this strategy involve? So first of all, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the denominator and see if we can find factors of it. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So we see here we have 1 over 20, but 20, what can 20 also be written by if we were to find factors of it? 20 can be written as 4 times 5, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that and do it with every denominator. So plus 1 over 30. 30, what is 30? 30 can be written as 5 times 6. Okay, and what is 42? 42 can be written as 6 times 7. Okay, so are you starting to see a pattern here? So 56 will be, you probably already guessed it, 7 times 8. 72 will be 8 times 9. And 90 will be 9 times 10. Okay, so we have our fractions rewritten like this. And you can see there's a pattern here, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8. But what do we do next? Well, now what we're going to do to solve this is we're going to rewrite the numerator, okay? But how do we rewrite the numerator? We just have one, right? Well, we can rewrite the numerator by subtracting, by using the values in the denominator and subtracting them by each other because that would be equal to one, right? That's equivalent to one. So, for example, our one here we'll rewrite as five minus four, okay? Or four times five. So then our here will be 6 minus 5, or 5 times 6. Here will be 7 minus 6, over 6 times 7. 8 minus 7, over 7 times 8. 9 minus 8, over 8 times 9. And then finally, 10 minus 9, over 9 times 10. Okay? And now... So we have it written like this, okay? So we have our numerator rewritten and our denominator rewritten, but this is all still equal to this top here. So what are we going to do next? Well, remember, if you were, we're subtracting these values in the numerators, right? And they both have the same denominators, so we can actually separate the fractions. So this 5 minus 4 over 4 times 5, the same as 5 over 4 times 5, minus 4 over 4 times 5, okay? We can separate them because they have the same denominator. So let's go ahead and we need to do that for every value. So we And now we can see that in every numerator and denominator, so every denominator we're having values multiplied by each other. And in the numerators we have a corresponding value that can be canceled out, okay? So here, 5 canceled out, 4 here, 6 here, 5 here, 7 here, 6 here, 8 here, 7 here, 9 here, 8 here, 10 here, and 9 here, okay? So, that leaves us with, let's rewrite that, 1 fourth, because when you cancel out in the numerator, it just becomes 1, and here we have 4, minus 1 fifth, plus 1 fifth, minus 1 sixth, plus 1 sixth, minus 1 seventh, plus 1 seventh, Minus one eighth plus one eighth minus one ninth plus one ninth, and that is the final one will be minus one tenth. Okay, and now so here we have a lot of more fractions. Okay, so we still have a lot of fractions, but now look here is negative one fifth, here's positive one fifth, they cancel out. Here is negative one sixth, positive one sixth, they also cancel out. Negative one seventh, positive one seventh, negative one eighth, positive one eighth, 
negative one ninth, positive one ninth, and that leaves us with one positive one fourth and minus one tenth. Okay, so okay, so now we got our problem, this big problem, down to one fourth minus one tenth, and this is simple to do. So how do we do this? How do we subtract fractions? So what we need to do is find the common denominator, and I'll let you guys think a little. So four and ten are both factors of twenty, right? So the common denominator here will just be twenty. So how do we get from 4 to 20? You multiply by 5. So remember, whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do to the denominator. Since basically, since 5 over 5 is equal to 1, you're basically just multiplying by 1. So this stays the same thing. And then here, 1 over 10, to get to the 10 to 20, you have to just multiply by 2 over 2. Because 10 times 2 equals 20. So that will give us 5 over 20 minus... 2 times 2 over 20, okay? And now, simple subtraction, subtract the numerators. Our final answer is 3 over 20, okay? So that is our answer. So this big problem, we did it to, we got it to 3 over 20, okay? So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye!